A first look at the Avast Secure Browser. Let's take a look at the options. Okay, let's launch it once we finish the installation. I want to import the bookmarks from my default browser, also the cookies. At this point, I'm not ready to commit to make it my default, so this will stay unchecked. Create a shortcut. I want it in my taskbar and then the start menu, but I don't need it on my desktop. And I'm now ready to accept with those changes I've made and install. As with anything that contains quite a few features, it does take a little while for this new browser to actually install. Looks like our patience is about to be rewarded. So this is what the new browser looks like. Since I opted to import my stuff from my default browser, it's already set these things up for me fairly nicely. Let's take a look at some of this. This opens up the Security and Privacy Center. I already have a vast secure line installed, but in this you will be able to get a trial version of Secure Line, which is a VPN, Virtual Private Network, if you don't already have one. Anti-fingerprinting. One more tool to help make you a little more invisible on the internet. Bank mode keeps you safe and secure when you do your banking and your shopping. Ad block. Who wants all those ads anyway? Ad phishing protects you from winding up on those things that fish for your information. This helps keep you safe so that you won't wind up with someone gaining enough information to steal your identity. Anti-tracking prevents people from tracking all the things that you do on the internet. Stealth mode. Stealth mode helps you to browse privately. Don't confuse it with using a virtual private network. Virtual private network encrypts everything that happens within the browser so that if someone does listen in when you're on open Wi-Fi, the information is fully encrypted and they have no way of getting to it. Stealth mode just hides some of the things that you do on the internet. Theoretically, it doesn't store anything and doesn't pass anything along, but it is not a replacement for a virtual private network. HTTPS encryption just makes sure that even a website that's not encrypted will use encryption technology to keep you safe. Password manager. You can either use the default one from the browser, not really recommend it. Best thing for you to do is make sure if you're running Avast that your password manager within Avast is already active and that's what it will be using. Extension guard. Anytime you install a new extension, this will warn you if that happens to be a dangerous extension. Privacy cleaner basically cleans out the garbage, gets rid of many of the stuff that accumulates while you're browsing the internet. Flash blocker. We all know by now that this is one of the dangerous things on the internet and by default it blocks flash. That's a quick first look at the Vast Secure Browser and the new features within it. This will only get better as time goes along. Stay safe, be free, I hope this helps.